welcome back future medicos in the previous video i have discussed about the inconsistencies in the government quota prospectus of tamil nadu i have raised the issue related to the inconsistencies or the contradictions between the various clauses related to round 2 exit penalty clause so pona video la na discuss panni irundathu round 2 exit kana penalty clause la irukra confusions so i have shown you three different pages and the three different pages la three different kinds of penalty clause kaamichirundanga i have discussed that in this video i'm going to focus on the second inconsistency i am observing this is related to the eligibility certificate so if i started comparing the government quota prospectus and management quota prospectus in different clauses they have asked different set of people to get the eligibility certificate so in this video i'm going to discuss about the inconsistencies and also at the end of the video i will tell you what i believe is the right one so if you are confused looking at the prospectus related to eligibility certificate and I, and you are not sure whether you must get the eligibility certificate or not then probably this video might help you so just stay with me until the end so that i will give you the clarity so let me start with government quota prospectus look at page 24 there is this non eligibility criteria and if you look at 11b the clause 11b you can read that if the candidate of other universities or boards except state board state board here it means tamil nadu state board we have to assume that cbse or icse do not submit the eligibility certificate obtained from the tamil nadu dr mgr medical university then their application will be summarily rejected so what they are saying from this clause we can understand that if a candidate has passed 12th exam from tamil nadu state board tamil nadu state board la 12th pass pannirundinga or cbse students or isc or icsc students if you have cleared 12th exam from any of these three boards you do not need to submit the eligibility certificate if someone has studied in any other board other than these three boards maybe like andhra board karnataka board igcse ib or maybe you have studied in some foreign boards you must get the eligibility certificate and without the eligibility certificate they are saying their application will be summarily rejected now this is clear this is what is in line with what is written in tamil nadu dr mgr medical university also so all the while our understanding is this that the three boards any student who is coming from these three boards of exam they do not need to produce eligibility certificate whether you have studied cbse within tamil nadu cbse in other states or cbse in other countries does not matter now this is what our understanding is but let's look at some other clauses in the prospectus for example take management quota prospectus page 22 where they have given the list of documents that need to be submitted while applying for management quota here look at the clause they say eligibility certificate should be produced basically this is the list of documents so eligibility certificate obtained from the tamil nadu dr mgr medical university for the candidate of other universities or boards except state board slash cbsc board now if you compare the previous one and this you can find the difference right we used to play this game find six differences aaru vithyasangal kandupidi appdin solittu modala la romba famous and the game kumudathala la varum naanga la ukkandu adu aaru vithyasangal kandupidikiradhu oru mulu nera velaya senja kaalangal la irukku if i think we need to do that it seems like Uh, the selection committee is testing our skill to find the differences between the various clauses and various prospectus published by them so you could clearly see that here there are three boards exempted whereas when it comes to management quota prospectus page 22 they are excluding only two boards they are saying if you have got from tamil nadu state board or cbsc you do not need to produce eligibility certificate but if you have obtained your 12th from any other board you must produce the eligibility certificate which means here you have to interpret that isc or icsc students are also needed to submit the eligibility certificate so this is in contradiction to what is written in government quota prospectus now let's also look at another clause in management quota prospectus that is page 20 you look at the non eligibility criteria 
here you see that if the candidates of other boards except Tamil Nadu State Board do not submit the eligibility certificate obtained from the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University, then their application will be summarily rejected. Now, what is the difference between the previous one? Now, the CBSE also has disappeared. Here, here in Management Quota Prospectus, page 22, they are saying State Board and CBSE Board are exempted. But when it comes to page 20, they are saying only State Board is exempted. Now, should I follow page 20 or should I follow page 22? Or if I am an applicant applying for both government quota and management quota, should I follow government quota prospectus? Should I follow management quota prospectus page 22? Should I follow management quota prospectus page 20? What should I follow? Why such inconsistencies? I, I don't know. The selection committee had one whole year. The whole year you have to check the prospectus, give it to few people to cross verify, ensure that it is error free. How can you have such basic mistakes done? I, I can't understand. And why you need to copy and paste the same thing at multiple places. Try to minimize duplication. Probably here, Management Quota Prospectus, page 22, just put eligibility certificate from Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. And maybe in page 20, just say what is the non-eligibility criteria so that you don't need to copy paste at multiple places. This is the problem. When you have duplication of information, then you will have facing problem. That's what even in my previous video, that was the problem. When you have multiple flow charts trying to convey the same information, you update one flow chart and you are not updating the other flow chart. And you have two flow charts and two tables and the four conveying the same information in different formats, but some is updated, some is not updated and everything is contradicting each other. So this is the problem basically. Now as a student, what should I do? Say for example, if I am from CBSE, now should I get the eligibility certificate? I am from ISC. Should I get the eligibility certificate? At least, right, Tamil Nadu State Board, it's much clear. In all the three, the State Board is exempted. So they can be very clear. But how about CBSE and ISC students? Shouldn't Tamil Nadu Selection Committee give a clarity? I'm sure they should do it. They should publish an addendum or maybe like um, error, uh, something, right, whatever they call it. They have to fix it. They have to post something on their website giving a clarification. Because it's already so difficult to get eligibility certificate from Tamil Nadu Doctor NGR Medical University. The NEET results has just been confirmed. Now, if you apply to Tamil Nadu Doctor NGR Medical University, it is a completely black box operation. When it was a physical mode of getting, it used to be very easy. You go there, apply in the morning. Every day they used to issue about 120 eligibility certificates. By the evening, you can get it. Morning you apply, evening you can get it. And when they moved online, I was very happy that it's going to be very convenient for people. They don't need to travel to Chennai. But now it has become so uncertain. Nobody knows when they will approve, whether they will approve or not. What is the current status, whether it is accepted, rejected. Nothing is known. You just apply, pay the money, and then you have to wait. Sometimes it takes two days. Sometimes it takes 20 days. Sometimes it takes two months. Nobody knows what is hap happening in Tamil Nadu Doctor NGR Medical University. So probably uh, NGR University should give a clarity what is the current status or they should have a turnaround time. They should uh, say that commit that the eligibility certificate will be issued within seven days or within 14 days. Give a commitment. Without that, the students are completely caught unaware. They don't know. Like for example, now the selection committee has given only one week to submit the application. I'm sure NGR University will not issue the eligibility certificate by that time for many candidates. So what those candidates should do and why you, do you need at the time of application? Assume that these candidates are okay. And then during admission check and then if they are not eligible, reject at that time. Maybe tell the candidates that by the time of admission, they need this certificate. Now, if I am interested only in the private universities, why do I even need this uh, particular certificate? Eligibility certificate is not needed for all the colleges in the counseling. Let's say I'm only interested in the three private universities that is available in the counseling. Why I should pay money to the Dr. NGR Medical University and waste my money? So all these are a lot of conflicts that selection committee has to address. So, but, but at least uh, the first thing, hopefully they can clarify which page is correct. So whether page 24 on government quota prospectus is correct or whether page 22 on management quota is correct or whether it is page 20 on management quota prospectus is right. 
So give a clarity. As a student, as a parent, do you see this problem? Have you noticed this? And what is your opinion on this? But my opinion on this, from what I have understood from the uh, Dr. MGR Medical University, you follow just uh, what is stated in the government quota prospectus. Anybody who has cleared Tamil Nadu State Board, CBSE, ICSE, you do not need to worry. These three boards, in my opinion, do not need to produce the eligibility certificate. So probably the management quota prospectus has to be corrected. So anyone from CBSC or ISC, you can stay confident. I'm sure uh, the other two is wrong. So these three boards are exempted. We are following uh, the counseling for the last couple of years. So this has been changed that these three boards are exempted, I think last year or the previous year. So I'm very confident that these three boards do not need the eligibility certificate. So I hope that gives you some confidence. Thank you. Bye-bye.